Do I regret coming to America? Well, I married the devil. <sighs> I went to hell. Hell almost roasted me, um, but I give God praise on my life. Do I regret coming to America? What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people? How are you all doing today? I hope you all have an amazing day today, and I hope you learned somebody still your joy. Welcome to my show. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. What's up, everybody? How are you doing today? Thank you for all of your support. I love you. I appreciate every one of you. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Now, let's take a moment to breathe. That was good. That was lovely. That Do was I regret coming to America? <sighs> when I was coming to America, I thought that I was coming to a land flown with milk and honey. I thought that everything was going to be easy. I thought that if I worked hard and applied myself that I was going to really enjoy the fruits of my labor, that everything was going to be immediate for me. I thought that my prayer for abundance for myself and to be able to help my family out was going to be like, you know, answered. I thought it was the heaven on earth when I was coming to America. I had high expectations. I was ready. I was excited. I came with the expectation that I would be instantly, as soon as, as, soon as I got off the plane and stepped on the airport and I'm like right in America, I'll start like plucking money out of trees and you know, I'll become a multimillionaire. So I'll say, hey, what's up everybody? I just got here and now I'm a multimillionaire. I thought that life was going to be so good, so beautiful, so amazing, like, oh my gosh. I'm walking over there with my shoulders high, you know what I mean, saying, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm American now. I thought it was going to be that easy, but I was wrong. I was very wrong. In fact, I thought that I suffered while I was in Nigeria. I thought that I had some setbacks, which were really hard at the time that I was going through it, with teammates ganging up against me, the coaches being like, uh, you know, partial in their treatments, like being like having favorites and not really giving you the opportunity you needed. Not all my coaches though. There were some coaches who knew that they had to give me that opportunity. So uh, shout out to all my amazing coaches, Coach Chubi, Coach OBJ, Coach Eddie in Nigeria, APU Zaria. Shout out to all of you. You guys are awesome. You always gave me that opportunity and I appreciate every one of you. Now I played for a team in Nigeria. I mean, shout out to the coach too. I mean, he, he recruited me and I went but you didn't give me all the opportunities I needed. Anyways, I'm grateful. I went through some stuff, but I didn't know that what I was gonna go through when I came to America was gonna be way harder than anything I'd ever ex experienced in my life. When I came to America, I had high hopes, very high hopes. Like I thought that I was just gonna be a multimillionaire as soon as my feet, my feet touched the soil of America. I felt like it was just gonna be my holy grail. Like, oh my gosh, everything, I'm just rich. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna be in the WNBA playing with Lisa Lester, but playing with Candace Parker. So I went to college, first college I went to. Experience was not that great. I transferred to a junior college. I had a great experience at my junior college. Shout out to my coach. He's in heaven now. May I so rest in peace, Coach Wells. He gave me a chance. I really appreciate it. That was one of the best experiences of my life in college basketball. Was coming to America a mistake? Well, I've had so many setbacks since I've been in America. I had high hopes when I was coming, but I was going to be getting a rude awakening by stepping my, my butt, my brown butt, my African Nigerian butt on the soil. I was ready to work hard to pluck that the dollars out of the trees in my backyard because I thought that the dollars grew, you know, in the trees in the backyard, you know what I mean? But anyways, I came. It's been a lot of struggle. I've struggled a lot. In college, I gave my best, gave my all. When I went to uh, my four-year college, Georgia State University, the experience was not that great. There were things about it that were great. The coach was also partial in the sense that there were certain people she chose. And it was just, it was just not a good experience. I felt like I was picked on. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't stop there. I was still stubborn, doing my thing. Anyways, then I met the devil. Then my life went on another spiral. Got pregnant on my first child while waiting for my documents to be completed. Um, 
delays, financial struggle, pain, suffering. Lost my first child, heartbreaking. I have often wondered if, what would my life have been like if I had stayed back in Nigeria and just focused on my basketball and my studies and done other things? What would my life have been like? I've thought about it. But was coming to America a mistake? My answer is no. It was not a mistake. I have met some of the most generous, amazing, wonderful, loving, kindest people in my life since I've been in the U.S. During all the struggles, in the midst of it, I always had light around me. Shout out to my amazing family, Beth and Joe, Butch and Sharon, my Lamar family, oh my goodness, amazing people in Lamar community where I went to junior college. Shout out to all the amazing people I've met throughout my journey in the U.S. Shout out to the people here in Georgia, Atlanta. But the most amazing, well, my, my family, Beth, Joe, Butch, and Sharon, you guys are amazing. I love you guys very much. But I just, I just need to give a shout out to some people like, who really deserve, who, who are like some of the people who have made it so worthwhile for me to be in the U.S. Shout out to all of you YouTube subscribers. Mariam's Joyful Life, who have been there from the start since 2014 when I started. Shout out to you all. <clears throat> Give yourself a round of applause. You guys have had my back. Some of you guys have been there with me. You connected. You loved me. You showed me support. Throughout the hardest times in my life, when I lost my child, you were there. When I was vlogging, you saw some dynamics in my life that you questioned. You questioned those dynamics even before my eyes were open to see the dynamics for what they truly were. Shout out to you all. My coming to America has been so worth it. More than worth it because of you guys. Oh, hold on. My children. My children too. I am so grateful for my kids. It gives me so much joy being a mom, taking care of two amazing, lovely, wonderful kids. I love my kids so much, I'm grateful. I don't regret coming to America. It was not a mistake. Throughout the struggles and the triumphs and the pain, throughout the struggles and the pain, the heartbreaking situations that happen, hope always arose on the inside of me, if I can say that in English. Anyways, I always had hope. Hope came in form of you guys who located me, some of you guys who subscribed to my channel, who showed me support, who were there with me when I was going through intense struggles and pain. Shout out to you all. I give thanks for this country. In spite of the fact that this country has whooped my butt, I went to hell in this country. Also in this country, I came out on the other side on fire. I found heaven. I'm grateful because in spite of all that I've been through, all the struggles, the pain, the heartaches, I'm alive. I'm no longer struggling. I endured many years of struggles and pain and heartbreak, disappointment, setbacks, poverty, and lack in America. More than I ever did even while I lived back in Nigeria. But through it all, I'm living well now. All of it introduced me to the life that I'm living now. All of it woke me up. All of it showed me that God's grace is real. In the midst of it, God brought angels into my life who held my hands when I needed somebody to hold my hands. Who had a, shoulder on, I mean, a hand on my shoulder when I needed somebody to tell me, Mariam, everything is going to be okay. Who gave me virtual hugs when I felt like it was too hard for me to go on. Who showed me support in the midst of hell. Who gave me water to drink when I was going through hell and I was dying, I was thirsty. <sighs> I need water. There's no water here. I need water. And everything else is saying, we're not giving you water. But you showed up like an angel and you gave me water. Was coming to America a mistake? No. I've been broken, but I've been built up. I've been down and I've been up. I've lost and I've gained. Through it all, the blessings have far outweighed the struggles. If you ask me, if I could do it again, would I show up in America? I would show up in America. Looking back, there were things I could have done that would have perhaps taken my life to a different path. But in spite of it all, 
I'm grateful for where I'm at right now. I'm happy. I discovered God within myself, knowing that God is for me, that faith is everything. No matter what you're going through, no matter how hard the situation is, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and all of your strength. In all thy ways, lean not unto thine understanding. Trust in the Lord. And everything will work out for you. Coming to America for me is one of the best decisions I ever made. And I'm grateful for America.